Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shamar, and today I will be showing you guys how to use Trading View. So the first thing you would want to do is type in www.tradingview.com. You should see something like this. Then you click on it, it should take you to a page like this. I recommend you guys to send up with an account and if you want to do that, click the link in my bio to sign up with a trade. If you want to set up an account, you click join for free and then it should take you to a page like this. Then you are going to choose the option that you want. You can use Google or Facebook. I'm going to use Apple ID. Then when you click on the Apple ID, it should take you to a page like this where you should enter your Apple ID address, which is my email. After typing your email, you should click next. Click next. And then I chose the option to sign in with passkey. then you should get something like this you click on it and then you use your phone to scan this code and then you click yes on your phone and then wait and then click continue and now your account is ready to be used with the free account you have access to a lot of things except when you are ready to backtest you would need to pay for a trading view account a basic trading view account which is about i think it's about um 19 us dollar and this is very important because this is what you would use to backtest the market. So you want to remove all of these like before. And then add back your peer. And JBP, JPY this is the pair that i trade if you guys want to learn to j to trade jp to trade this pair and master it click the link in my description and join my telegram group so yeah then you want to remove all of the unnecessary things like this and remove this so right click and then remove this is not necessary so remove everything that is not necessary adjust then click on the pair this is the pair that i will be trading I like to change the team to a darker team, but it's up to you on what you prefer. So these, this is where you add the time zones. These are the time zones that I use. I use the um the five minutes, the fifteen minutes the one hour and uh, the four hour so the one the, the five minutes and the 15 minutes is what i use for entry i use the one hour the four hour and also the one hour for looking for entries in the market not entry looking for to predict the movement of the market the, the smaller time frame as the five and 15 is what i use so this is where you add your um things that we would like to use so first you would the tools that you would like to use so first you would add your trend line 
your rail line your horizontal line your vertical line also your cross line and these are tools that you will use a lot you also want to add your fibonacci retracement which is very important and i will make a video just to explain how to use your fibonacci tool you also would like to add your long position which is your buy in entry and your short position which is your sell entry you will also like to add your rectangle which you will use to draw your structure you will also use to draw add your eclipse and yeah that would use to um draw each time your um the, each time the, the the market touches a zone on your your trend line so also you would need to add your text so after adding all of these you should see something like this you should see a bar So these are your tools that you should add. You should see something like this. Also your time, you should see the times, the, the five minute, the 15 minutes, the hour, the four hour and the daily. So this is our your time. This is where um, you look to find, <coughs> to see where um, the time where each candle was formed. As you can see, lining up with the candles, it gives you a date on the bottom where the candle was firm as you can see this is the present candle as to when the video was made and the bottom part of the graph basically shows the time where the candle was made let me remove this makes get a better view so hold on let me remove this so at the side now this basically shows the position where price is and it's also used to measure um the pip and i will explain all of this in a future video or click on my profile to look if you see any videos explaining pips if not the video will be uploaded so so as you see i am measuring from one end to the next which and the four hour time frame is 100 pips so going up it increases by one each time and pips are measured in so, so one pip is 0 0.01 two pip is 0 0.02 and it increases 50 pip is 0 0.5 and 80 pip is 0 0.8 and one 100 pip is one so yeah it's basically that and this is what you will use to um enter um your positions on metatrader 5 and stuff to your broker and also set your take profit and stop loss so yeah this is your price and your price and the dates work together and information as to when and gives you a basic reading of the candle these chinese candles it is just a graph it's very simple it's just instead of using a line graph or a bar graph they use a chinese candle because a chinese candle contains more information than and than a um regular line or bar graph so it gives you a better reading of the market so this is your time at the bottom the date as to when each candle was formed and then at the side is your price and this is where um the market is currently 
this is your favorite tool these are the tool that you guys would need to add to your favorite so you can reach them more easier instead of searching for them these are the time zones that are most important but it is up to you and how you guys want to set up your trading view so play around and see what works best for you this is the end of the video guys if you guys have any issues click the link to my telegram in my bio and message me and i will try to assist thanks for watching